Oh, Mr. Ryuki. What are you doing here? Here to see me on stage, perhaps? Sorry, but I won't be performing today. He isn't. Oh. Actually, I'm here to talk to Shoma. To Shoma? Why am I on a Ferris wheel with you? Aren't you having fun? I would be if you weren't here. Ryuki, Shoma is actually responding to the conversation this time. This is proof that the chastity belt of his heart is loose. If you shove yourself in there, he just might open up. Could you please not phrase it like that? Ryuki. No! Ryuki, why don't you try jumping off? before. She's just a classmate. We're not friends, and I don't know much about her. Supposedly she's attending school from her house near the harbor, but I guess her permanent address is in our school district or something. That's why she goes to the same school as me. So you do know a lot about her? No! That doesn't mean anything! Not like I'm even slightly interested in that uggo. Well, he really is a kid, huh? That robot you showed me the other day was really cool. If you're that skilled, I'm sure you've gotten offers from lots of companies. N not really. I'm nothing special. I'm just really into robots. But even an amateur can tell that robot was filled with impressive technology. And the one-wheel design is beautiful. Well, I knew it had to run on one wheel for sure. It was really hard getting the self-stabilization feature working with the one-wheel design. Like. Major electronics companies make one-wheel robots to show off their advanced tech. Mm. Also, what's really great about my robot is its load capacity. It doesn't look like it, but it can easily carry up to 45 pounds. And I want to upgrade it more so it can carry double that. I see, I see. Huh. <laughs> I know you don't really care. Looks like it won't go the way it did last time. Hmm. I guess flattery won't get us anywhere. I don't want to talk about my dad. I told you before, I don't even want to think about him. Will you cut it out already? I don't want to talk about my dad. What lie? You said the hidden message in BATS 490 pointed to Horidori Institute, but that's not true, is it? Can you tell me why you lied? And where the actual location is? The truth is... I never decoded it. What? I wanted everyone to think that I did. I wanted the attention, so I lied. Are we done now? Don't talk to me anymore. That got a reaction. He's probably lying right now. His chastity belt wasn't loose after all. If you're going to say it that way... You at least have to add the of his heart part. Anyway, I guess I'll have to talk about something else to get him to loosen up. I already told you! I hate him! <laughs> Happy now? I hate him so much, I didn't even want to say it out loud. But you were with him earlier. I was here alone at first. And Dad came. He wanted to make up. Make up? Dad and I are fighting. I ran away from home yesterday. You ran away from home? My friends made fun of me. 
How is that related to your dad? Because it's my dad's fault for being so pathetic. Pull yourself together. Show me how cool you can be on TV. That's what I said to my dad. I bring smiles to the audience. If I can do that, I don't care if I get mocked. That's what it means to be an entertainer. When he said that, I blurted out, That's why mom got sick of you and left. Dad turned bright red, and... Then why don't you just leave too? That's why I left the house. Do you think I could like someone like him? A stupid old comedian who gets clowned on all the time. He barely ever goes on TV either. And when he does, it's always some ridiculous thing like getting piping hot Odin shoved into his mouth. The day after he goes on air, I always get made fun of by my friends. I hate it. I'm sick and tired of it. I told you, I hate him. Everything about him. I hate how much he drinks and how he acts so cocky and stubborn when he's drunk. He talks about all these big dreams that he can never achieve. When he sobers up, he remembers what he did when he was drunk and squirms under the blankets. Isn't that sad? It makes me hate him even more. The way his nose hair is always sticking out, the way he wipes his face with sanitary napkins, his stupid awful singing in the bathtub, everything about him is creepy, awful, and pathetic. I hate him! For hating someone so much, he sure pays him a lot of attention. They say there's a fine line between love and hate. It's no good. Shoma won't open up no matter what I bring up. Looks like we won't get through with the orthodox method. That means... We'll have to try our luck with his father. Boy, I'm glad you invited me on the Ferris wheel, too. Thank you. Our objective is still to unlock Shoma's chastity belt. You're still going on with that? It would be tough to question Komeiji about tricky subjects if Shoma was nearby. That's why you invited him here, right? Yeah, but... Now that I think about it, we rode this Ferris wheel together two days ago. Well, Mr. Ryuki, it seems like your investigation is going around in... circles? So, uh, what is it you wanted to talk about? If it's about the case, there isn't much else to say. So, when are you jumping off? I am not jumping off! This is the only outfit I have right now. I actually have another set of personal clothes, but I ruined those two days ago. But this bow tie, that'll be fine as long as I have this. Isn't it nice? Shoma bought it for you, didn't he? That's right. Even if I only have one set of clothes, I can wear this or take it off depending on how I'm feeling and wow. It's as if I changed into a completely different outfit. Not really. Yeah. Oops, it would be terrible if I lost it, so I'd better put it back on. This tie, Shoma chose it for me so I could really shine on stage. When I wear it, it feels like Shoma is cheering me on. It gives me strength. It's my most precious treasure. Shoma lied? Yes. I see. I don't know much about that hidden message thing, but Shoma is a good boy. He wouldn't lie for no reason. I know that's not that convincing coming from his father but he must have had a reason to lie.
I used to be a real big shot back when I was known as the Quiz King, remember? But I let it get to my head, and as soon as I became a comedian, things flipped completely. There was no hope for me to move up in the world. My wife got sick of me and left. I've been raising my boy alone ever since, and yet... Not at all. I'm proud of being a comedian. At the same time, I'm not proud of my lack of success. I've put Shoma through so much hardship. It's inexcusable. I have no idea. I can't really talk to him right now myself. I'm sure you're aware, but I got in an argument with Shoma yesterday. What is that? Shoma made it for me when he was little. But yesterday he ripped it up and threw it away. It was really important to me. I want to make up, but he... It must be difficult considering how things are now. It's all my fault. The argument only happened in the first place because of my lack of success. Um, Mr. Ryuki, there is something I'd like to talk to you about. What is it? No, never mind. Please forget it. What was that about? It sounded like you wanted to tell me something important. Hey, Ryuki, why don't you try wink syncing with him? Yeah, I'll try taking a peek. The loan sharks again. A different set of guys came by yesterday and the day before that. I've been borrowing from so many different places, I don't know who's who anymore. Anyway, what am I supposed to do? I can't talk to the police about it. Uh, uh. So he's borrowed money from a lot of people. He must have been in real trouble if he even got involved with loan sharks. But why can't he talk to the police about it? Don't tell me. Supposedly he has connection to the Yakuza. Word is he's involved in some dangerous transactions. Kameji, you wouldn't happen to be struggling with debt, would you? What? How did you- I knew it. That's what you wanted to tell me, right? Why can't you get the police involved? Is it because you're buying and selling on the black market? What are you talking about? I would never do something like that! Huh. Shoma isn't here. Where did that boy run off to? We still haven't made up. I'm sorry, Mr. Ryuki. I need to go find Shoma now. So, well, bye for now. Excuse me. Meiji and Shoma, huh? It's clear that they're both hiding something. Even if we chase them down and asked again, we'd get the same result. I guess we have no choice. Let's go somewhere else for now. Yeah, let's.
Oh, Ryuki, honey, welcome. It's been so long. Sorry, Mama, but I'm not here as a customer today. I was wondering if you knew anything about the case. Do you mean the HB case? Yeah. Mame and Gen are here. But they're acting strange. They're both quiet, turned away from each other. Ryuki, you ever do stuff on a bar counter before? Like what? You know, something that starts with S. I don't think so. Really? Well, I've served customers here before. Wow. see a video of naked men hugging each other in the dirt? Oh, yes, please! It's just a sumo video. Specialty socks. No double dipping. Huh. Entrance exam pajama paradance. It's a movie about crashing an entrance exam in pajamas and doing the para para dance. wrestler. Is that a crystal ball? Yes, these are my big milky balls. Milky balls? Oh, but I'm not talking about testicles, honey. Yeah, I know. I started telling fortunes as a side business, and believe it or not, I actually gained the ability to hear them. Voices from other dimensions. Uh, other dimensions? Yes. One day, I was suddenly gifted with the power. I suppose it's more accurate to call it a seance than fortune telling. They both sound pretty fishy. No, I'm completely... You're just going to pretend you're hearing voices, aren't you? No, I'm completely serious. I mean, I don't even remember what happens while hearing the voices. Serious. I mean, I don't even remember what happens while hearing the voices. Oh, why don't we give it a try? I could ask about the HB case. You might believe me if you see it in person. No, it's okay. 
No need to be so modest. It'll be free of charge. I've been wondering this for a long time. Who are you really, Mama? Me? <laughs> I'm just your ordinary, everyday homoerotic connoisseur. Well, here's what I know. I'm sorry I couldn't help you this time. No, it's fine. Just typical detective work. Gotta earn my pay. Then let me ask the Milky Balls. Can you stop calling them that? Oh, great set of balls. Who is the most beautiful in all the land? That is... Mama, of course! Oh my! <laughs> you flatter! <laughs> That's not even what I wanted to ask. And the answer is completely wrong. That was just a joke. I figured. Ahem. Now, let's try this for real. Oh, great set of milky white balls. I need you to give me some clues for an investigation. One after another, victims have been torn in half in these half-body murders. Where can we find the key to exposing the culprit? Face. A hidden face. The true face, as yet unrevealed to all. That is where the answer is hidden. Huh? Did I just say something? I told you, I black out during these seances. Don't remember a thing. Let's see. The first thing that comes to mind is... Gan's face hidden under his mask. But he's sensitive about it. It's not something I can just ask. Yeah, and it's hard to say if this is really related to the case or not. The only other thing I can think of is... Ah! Jin Furaway! Huh? It might also apply to Jin. But Jin's face is well known. Yeah, it's not like he hides it. It's true that photos of his face have been all over the place. But he's never actually gone out in public in person. Not even once? Not even once. It's not because he's shy, is it? If that were the case, his photos wouldn't be out there either. I've heard he's an extreme narcissist. He circulates all those pictures himself. By the way, Mama, what's up with those two? Well, the thing is, they had a bit of a differing of opinion. What do you mean? No, Mama. The problem is Guinea's total lack of common sense. My lack of common sense? Are you sure you're not talking about yourself? You sound like a stupid person right now. What? You're the one who sounds stupid. You probably couldn't even beat the first question of the All-American Ultra Quiz. W wait wait what is this argument even about? Well, we're having a disagreement. All right, you jerk. Why don't we get a neutral third party and ask them? <laughs> that's what happened. So we came to Marble to get Mama's opinion, and that's where we're at. But when I gave my input, it only made things more complicated. I know. Now that Ryuki's here, let's see what he thinks. Yeah, then we'll know for sure who's right. So, question time. Island where the Statue of Liberty in New York is located. What? Even you think that, Ryuki? The answer is Ellis Island. What? Ho hold on. That's ridiculous. It can't be. The Statue of Liberty is definitely on Liberty Island. No, it's true that the Statue of Liberty is on Ellis Island. 
I mean, there's no such thing as Liberty Island anyway. What? That's not true. So you're in agreement with me. There's definitely something wrong here. Hey, what do you think, Telma? Of course it's Ellis Island. This is common knowledge. What? Look, I just looked it up online. Now do you see? The Statue of Liberty is located on Ellis Island. It can't be. Again, I still can't believe this, but it looks like they're right. Impossible. See? Anyway, they've been butting heads about the location of the Statue of Liberty this whole time. But it looks like they finally came to a conclusion. I see. If you all say so, I must be the one who's wrong. I'm sorry, Amame. I was mistaken. As long as you understand now, that's good enough for me. Everyone makes mistakes. Now. I need to get to work soon, so I'm heading out. I'll stick around for a bit longer. Okay. Then I'll see you three later. What about your restaurant, Gen? I closed up shop for the day. I couldn't acquire any ingredients I was satisfied with. Really? Closed for a reason like that? It's really important to me. It would be rude to serve mediocre dishes to my customers. I think I'll go to the warehouse district at the harbor after this. I thought I could watch the waves and think up new dishes. Voices from people in other dimensions! Mama, you're always so beautiful! Oh, oh my, you flattering. Hallucinations, maybe? A manifestation of her repressed desire? But it felt different the second time she did it, when she mentioned the thing about hidden faces. I'm not worried about that in the slightest. Ota from Matsushita Diner doesn't understand the first thing about the true essence of cooking. Yes, I love that place. I can watch the ocean in silence with no one around. I find it very soothing. For some reason, Date seems to go there often as well. Amame and I go way back. There are times when we have arguments over little things like you saw earlier. We're basically family at this point, so if anything ever happened to her, I would do everything I could to help. I believe that I have to protect her, no matter what. I have been very close with Date for some time. He often stops by Brahmin before coming here to drink. I trust him. There are only three people who weren't afraid of me the first time they saw me. Date, Amame, and Lian. You know Lian too? Yes, he's a regular at Brahmin as well. Lian just wandered in one day while Date was there. They hit it off right away and had quite a lively discussion. I joined them after closing up for the day, and the three of us drank until morning. Huh, that's an interesting group. I can't imagine what you three would talk about. Probably porno mags or something. What are they, teenagers? Oh, we talk a lot about porno mags. Putting Date, Amame, and Leon aside, my appearance makes most people uncomfortable. But if I didn't wear this mask, I would scare them even more. If I recall, your face has a congenital condition. Yes. Would you like to see? What? My face. 
No, you don't have to if you don't want to. Not that I'm trying to avoid it or anything. Face. A hidden face. The true face, as yet unrevealed to all. That is where the answer is hidden. No point in staying here much longer. Yes, let's move on. Well, Gen, Mama, I'll be going now. Very well. Please take care. Stop by to get a break from work every once in a while. timing but why are these two here I just happen to be here by chance me too I'm here completely by coincidence okay then so what is it you wanted to tell me about the case yeah about that who, who the hell is that hmm What? Talk about sketchy. Maybe someone from the talent agency? I don't know. I couldn't see their face, so it's hard to say. Seems dangerous. But I'll put my life on the line to protect Tess. I, I, I mean, Iris. So, uh, don't you worry. M me too. Do re me. Sofa! You're right. I've never seen- Whoa, there's a weird bug here. Before. Special feature, useful ways to tie a rope. Huh. Ryuki, steal it from me later. Nice high table. N not you too, Ryuki. Well, okay. If you think I have nice thighs, then... W wait, what did you think I said? Tessa, would you stand on that stool over there? What? Why? Maybe I'll put a monitor that big in our office, too. What would you watch? Obviously, test, test, t t testicle, testicle videos. Yeah, testicle videos. That sounds really icky, Moma. Uh -huh.
I heard that painting is actually titled T-N-Y-E-O. It used to be called by another name. I told you it was a coincidence. For some reason, Tess, I got a set's recording schedule happened to be in my PC. I figured it was a cyber attack by a rival gang, so I came here to scout things out just in case. That's a huge stretch. He was probably just waiting for her. Thanks for everything, Mr. Kumakura. <laughs> Shopping! Cart, Mart, Tessa! Gaming! Light, Sprite, Tessa! Account! Check, collect, Tessa! It's the brand new star of the net world, Tessa! Also known as Aset, you bet! I told you I just happened to be here. I just so happened to know Tessa's recording schedule. And I thought she might be thirsty after recording, so I got her a drink. In other words, he was waiting for her. Thanks for everything, Ota. <laughs> Fire! Hot, hot, Tessa! Shipping! Great, great, Tessa! Airplanes! Height, flight, Tessa! It's the brand new star of the net world, Tessa! Also known as Asa! You bet! Wow, what a total hottie! What? Oh, this is perfect! I was just starting to get bored. Come on, let's have a chat, cutie! A little tete a tete. Sorry, I have no idea what you're saying. Oh, and your voice is super mega hot, too! Hottie for a thotty. Slide into my DMs anytime, King. Um... I'm here to ask some questions for an investigation. Wait, you're with the police? Are you friends with Date by any chance? Yeah, he he's my superior. Oh my god! It's such a small world! Crazy! Why is this woman a receptionist? Likely a decision made by the company president. Mizuki? It's okay. You don't have to say it. You want to rub these soft things, don't you? No, I wasn't... Oh, fine. Just for a bit, okay? Here you go. Ryuki, what are you doing? There's a receptionist sitting behind the desk. There's a receptionist with... There's a receptionist... There's a receptionist with huge breasts. Huge breasts. Breasts. There are huge breasts sitting behind the desk. What are you saying? What? What are you talking about, Ryuki? N no. I was just suddenly overcome with an inexplicable urge to go to a Tommy. Forget the investigation. I'm going to a Tommy with her. I've already made up my mind. Don't try to stop me! Did you take crazy pills this morning or something? Wait a minute. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? Ryuki, please. I have a bad feeling about this. Now, let's go to a Tommy together! Uh, okay.
Oh, good time. But why are these? I just happen to be here by. Ch 